Hey, welcome. My name is Thierry. I'm the founder of Nuage Cafe, and today I'm going to talk to you about water, free radicals, and uh, antioxidants. Okay, so what are we as humans? We are negative charged bodies standing on negative ground, which is the Earth, living in a positive charged environment, which is the air that we breathe. An apple turning brown is the result of oxidation. That's why when the leaves fall down from the branch of the trees to the ground, they decompose and create soil. The earth is an amazing thing. This is an ORP monitor, uh, the redox monitor, oxidation reduction potential. What it does, it calculates the oxidation potential of whatever it touches. Right now it's the air. The air is 125 millivolts above zero, so it's in a positive charge. This is a water ionizer, a batch version compared to the flows through version that you probably know, uh, hooked to the sink in the kitchen, separates the water into acidic and alkaline. I made this with two containers of HDPE plastic with a hole in each, separate with the tube, PVC tube, and there's a membrane inside, which is a marine sponge because it's more natural. The sponge retain the water from flowing through, but the ions can go through. I put electrodes, 100% platinum strips electrodes, which is highly conductive, but non-corrosive. And positive, negative charge from an adapter, from a printer, 48 volts. The positive charge attracts the ne negative ions from the water. The negative charge attracts the positive ions from the water. Negative ions is alkaline. Positive ions is acidic. Positive is hydroxide, OH minus. Or negative is oxygen, H plus. You probably heard about free radicals. What is a free radical? It's a wild bunch of atoms that enters your body and are missing electrons. What they do, the first thing they do is they go into your body, search for any cells in your body, and steal the atom from it so they can survive. Now your healthy cell is missing an atom and is not healthy anymore, start to degenerate. That's why accelerate aging process and create disease. You heard about antioxidant. What is antioxidant? Antioxidant is negative charge molecule with extra electrons, like this extra electrons that goes and attracted to positive um, free radical that's missing an atom. So it gives an extra atom, an extra electron to the free radical that's missing. So the free radical can leave your healthy cell alone. Just like a magnet, positive, negative, they're attracted together. If it was the opposite, I wouldn't put it together. See, you know. You heard about antioxidant, you probably take it, blueberries, blackberries, pomegranate, acai. Alkaline water is antioxidant. When free radicals enter your body, because your body is negatively charged, the free radical attach to your body. Because they follow the gravity, usually it's on the lower part of your body. And they find themselves home, like magnet. They already made the damage, they already took electrons from your body. It can be fats. Where free radicals come from? They come from stress, pollution, and especially cooked oil. Best thing to do will be to eat a plant-based living food without cooking oil. When you cook food above 104 degrees, you kill all the enzymes, all the nutrition, all the vitamins, all the life force. That's what you need to survive. Why would you kill it? Antioxidant water provides the antioxidant to the free radical so they can leave your, your healthy cells alone. The problem with antioxidant water is that the pH level goes higher. The pH raises, the ORP goes down, that's alkaline. An acidic pH level goes lower, the ORP goes higher, that's acidic. Let me show it to you. My ORP in the alkaline water will go below zero. Minus. Now the acidic water should be very oxidizing. If you would put a nail into acidic water, it will rust overnight. If you put a nail into alkaline water, it will not rust. I got 350 almost millivolts. 
What about the pH level? pH level. This is a pH meter into the acidic. Hold it. 2.71. Okay. Into the uh, alkaline. Hold it. 8.79. Just curious. This is a Diet Coke soda. I want to taste the pH level of the Diet Coke. 2.52. Very acidic. Cancer love acid. When you drink soda, it's feeding you cancer. Cancer cannot survive in an alkaline, oxygen-based environment. Cannot. What would you prefer? Make a choice. I have a little bit more time. Now, contaminants. The problem with empowering uh, uh, ionizing water is that you empower the contaminants in it. Water from Parkland, Florida has a lot of chlorine. That smells like a pool. It's a huge amount of chlorine empowered. In Arizona, there's a lot of arsenic. People get arsenic poisoning by ionizing the water over there, get skin disease, and respiratory problem. They spend thousands of dollars on ionizers and they get sick. Ionizer is not healthy for you. When you raise a pH level at 8 or both 7.5, 8 or 9, and you have this type of water into a pound, a lake or a river, all the fish will die. Would you drink from that river? Would you have your kids say, son, drink that water, it's healthy for you. Don't worry about the fish that's dead on top, drink it. No, of course not. Why would you drink this water? The best thing would have to do it would have to be like a pure water, free of contaminants. The problem with pure water, it's not conductive. I wouldn't be able to split it. I would have to use electrolytes like salt because pure water is one million times less conductive than seawater. The problem with salt is that my strips will be corrosive now. They will melt like this that just happened. I made the test. You see? I didn't drink this water, of course, because now the platinum dissolves into the water. And if I have drink it, I would have platinum poisoning straight into the brain. Huge uh, mental problem. That's heavy metal platinum, very unhealthy for you. What else can I talk about? When you drink antioxidant water or antioxidant fruits, you provide the negative ions to the positive. What happens is that the positive ions from toxins, fats, uh, free radicals, dissolve into liquid. So now it's easier for your body to get rid of it through your extraordinary channels. Also, good to know, when there's a lot of strikes here, a lot of storms, a lot of lightnings. And when we drive in a car, we know we're safe. Why? Because we drive on top of plastic. The, the tires are uh, not conductive, so you're safe. It's the same thing with wearing shoes. The bad part is that you don't conduct yourself. When you go to the beach or lay down in the park, you're grounded. You put your hands on the floor, you ground yourself, you regenerate. You, you empower yourself with negative ions from the, uh, from the earth. And also, being clear, close to a, a waterfall or, or water crushing from the waves in the beach, the bubbling effect of the water creates negative ions, which is very healthy for you. Positive ions generated from TV screens or laptops are unhealthy for you. So the good thing would be to uh, walk barefoot, of course not during storms, uh, into the ground so you can ground yourself and generate. Very, you'll feel great. Also, what I want to talk to you about water and icing is that the good thing, there's a lot of good things, a lot of bad things, but more bad things than good things. When water is ionized, it splits. That means the 16 average water molecules water that has a hard time to penetrate into your cells now is smaller, so that means a more profound hydration, a better delivery to whatever it has. If it has mercury, lead, chlorine, fluoride, of course you don't want that. You want minerals. That's what we need. Ionic minerals, 10,000 times smaller than colloidal minerals, which is the most common forms of minerals of 
available in the market today. Colloidal minerals led to uh, only 1% absorption to your body and also heavy metals. Um, so you want ionic state minerals, like the one you find in the water power. One teaspoon of the water power into one gallon will dissolve, inactivate the contaminants. The contaminants will fall to the bottom because now the, heavy, the contaminants are heavier than the water because the water split without the use of ionizing the water. And the pH level and wash it off with your alkaline water. A normal pH level should be between 6.5 and 6.9. Now I have 8.98 from the alkaline water, and now it's going to go down. One teaspoon of the water power into one gallon is good enough to offer the water with totally free contaminant because the contaminant will be inactivated. They will drop to the bottom. That means that the rest of the water is totally free of contaminants. Don't have to use water purifiers or water filtration system or reverse osmosis, which only takes the contaminants off the water, but yet you have only water that's free of nothing. So yeah, okay, the water is hydrated, but you don't nourish your body with anything. A water free of nothing is nothing. Now I get 6.7, 6.68, fantastic. This is a perfect water, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect solution to the water issue that we have nowadays. You know, the water in the world today is sick, and that's why we're sick. Get the water power, 100 minerals, ionic state, dissolve the, the contaminants, that's the best way, use gravity effect, they drop to the bottom, retain the top of the water and drink it for your health, for your family, the, the people that depends on you, make the right choice. It was a pleasure to introduce this to you. I hope you understand. I hope you enjoyed it. Watch it again, share it, and I uh, look forward to uh, sharing you more information about health and true health, divine truth, and the law of the universe, which never fail and always prevail and always consistent. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.